Hello there, this is Father Ken Lau and welcome to the new episode of Nuggets for the Soul. Uh, I've read this uh, article uh, on Facebook and it's very inspiring and uh, I'd just like to share this with you. And it's, it, it's about a man who was asked to paint a boat. So, of course, uh, he brought his paint and brushes and began to paint the boat a bright red as the owner asked him. So while painting, he noticed a small hole in the hull and quietly repaired it. When he finished painting, he received his money and left. The next day, the owner of the boat came to the painter and presented him with a nice check, much higher than the payment for painting. The painter was surprised and said, You've already paid me for painting the boat, sir. But this is not for the paint job. It's for repairing the hole in the boat. Ah, but it was such a small service. Certainly it's not worth paying me such a high amount for something so insignificant. My dear friend, you do not understand. Let me tell you what happened. When I asked you to paint the boat, I forgot to mention the hole. When the bo boat dried, my kids took the boat and went on a fishing trip. They did not know that there was a hole. I was not at home at the time. When I returned and noticed they had taken the boat, I was desperate because I remembered that the boat had a hole. Imagine my relief and joy when I saw them returning from fishing. Then I examined the boat and found that you had repaired the hole. You see, now what you did? You saved the life of my children. I do not have enough money to pay your small Good tea. So what's the moral lesson of, of the story? No matter who, when, or how, continue to help, sustain, wipe, te wipe tears, listen attentively, and carefully repair all the leaks you find. You never know when one is in need of us or when God holds a pleasant surprise for us to be helpful and important to someone. Along the way, you may have repaired numerous boat holes for several people with realizing how many lives you've saved. So this is a very inspiring story, you know, too. Uh, it's, a, it's a good reminder that, you know, for us while working, we should not just work for the money, okay? And we should not just do what we're asked to do. And uh, we, we need to go over and uh, uh, that, like, you know, like, like if you're working in a, in a restaurant, uh, don't just uh, get orders and serve the, the, the customers there. You know, your, your, your smile, uh, your friendliness might be some, sometimes insignificant, uh, but it would make a big difference in people's lives. So let's go out of our way, you know, just doing small things uh, out of big love, and uh, we will see how we would touch the lives of many people. And whenever we do things to help others uh, or we go... Uh, uh, beyond what we're being asked to do, uh, we, 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 we experience that joy. We experience that joy that uh, we, we, make, uh, we make a difference in the lives of many people. So I hope this uh, inspiring story would inspire all of us uh, to do more what we're asked to do. Be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you.